sun creates everything. He created the universe. And all of a sudden, this way, if God, you my everything. God, you are all I breathe. God, you are all I know. God, you are all I have. It's one of the things I've learned as a Christian. C'est une des choses que j'ai appris en tant que chrétien. That I thank God for the things that are so small, but the only things I need to survive. Seigneur, merci pour ces choses qui paraissent petites, mais qui sont les seules choses dont j'ai besoin pour survivre. Hallelujah. Amen. We should never let our lives get to the place where that is the only option we have before we begin to thank God. Nous n'avons pas laissé nos vies à tel grand niveau, c'est la seule option que nous avons que de rendre face à Dieu. Hallelujah. Amen. Then your life reached to the place where everything has left you before you want to thank God. Si vous avez atteint un niveau où vous a quitté, et c'est pour cela que vous rendez grâce à Dieu. God will listen to you, but that is not the best thing to be. Dieu va vous écouter, mais ce n'est pas le meilleur état. I want us to look again into the life of Paul as we close up this topic. Donc, vous que nous regardons la vie de Paul. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Well, let's look again to the life of Paul from the verse 24th verse. Je vous que nous regardons la vie de Paul à partir du verset 24. Paul says, I go to the stadium and I see the athlete race. Everyone runs. And one person wins, and he says, "Run to win." 
all good athletes train hard. They do it for a gold medal that tarnishes and fades. You are after that gold eternally. I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. I'm giving it everything I've got, not slowly living for me. I'm staying alert and in top condition. I'm not going to get caught napping, telling everyone else about it and then missing out myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christianity is a, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough race. It's a tough race. And it's a race that is open to everyone. Uh, it needs no requirement for you to become a Christian. It's free. And probably that is why sometimes it's difficult to us for us to understand how difficult the race is because it's free to get inside. Probablement c'est la raison pour laquelle il est difficile pour nous de comprendre que ce parcours est difficile. Il reçoit des personnes de toutes les familles. Les riches, les pauvres, les intellectuels et ceux qui sont en train de se faire. Donc tout le monde peut devenir chrétien au moment où il croit en Jésus en Christ. Et parfois les problèmes nous amènent à Dieu. Hard problems. Des fois, des problèmes difficiles nous rapprochent de Dieu. Problems bring us to God. Les problèmes nous rapprochent de Dieu. And the problems doesn't have to keep us connected to God. Ce ne sont pas les problèmes qui doivent nous garder connectés à Dieu. Problems bring us to God. Les problèmes nous amènent vers Dieu. But God requires our love for Him to keep us connected with Him. Mais Dieu a besoin de notre amour pour lui pour nous garder connectés. That's why I'm saying Christianity is difficult. C'est la raison pour laquelle je dis que la chrétienté est difficile. Because you get into it free, but you don't stay into it with that freedom. Parce qu'on y entre librement, on ne reste pas dans un but. You stay being a Christian on purpose. On reste chrétien dans un but précis. On a strong decision that I want to stay a Christian, an active Christian. En une forte décision que je veux rester un chrétien actif. And last week we said Paul made a decision that one thing will not stop him from being an active Christian. Nous avons dit que Paul a pris une décision. That the need for him to be rewarded for what he does will not stop him from serving God. Ce qu'il fait ne va pas l'empêcher de servir Dieu. He had to make the choice. Il devait faire ce choix. That my need to be rewarded by men will not stop me from serving God. Mon besoin d'être récompensé par les hommes ne m'empêchera pas de servir Dieu. He had to give up that right. Il devait abandonner ce droit. The right Jesus gave up. Le droit que Jésus a abandonné. The pride Jesus gave up. La fierté que Jésus a abandonné. The respect Jesus gave up. Le respect que Jésus a abandonné. The recognition Jesus gave up. La reconnaissance que Jésus a abandonné. Paul had to give it up. Paul aussi to stay an active Christ. Pour rester un chrétien actif. And it was tough for him. Et c'était difficile pour lui. Because he was mal handled by people. Parce qu'il était maltraité, malmené par les gens. He was beaten roughly. Il a été battu terriblement. He served God under tough conditions. Il a servi Dieu dans des conditions difficiles. But he did. Mais il l'a fait. Another lesson I want us to learn from Paul today. Une autre leçon que je voudrais que nous apprenions de Paul aujourd'hui. Is that in as much as he said, none of his personal desires will stop him from blessing others. Bien qu'il dit, bien qu'il ait dit qu'aucun de ses désirs personnels ne va l'empêcher de bénir les autres, he was also concerned about himself. Il pensait aussi à lui-même. He said nothing will stop him from being used by God. Il a dit rien ne va l'empêcher d'être utilisé par Dieu. You know God can stop using you without you knowing. Savez-vous que Dieu peut arrêter de vous utiliser sans que vous le sachiez? You know in a job if you to sack you, they tell you that they have sacked you, but God can drop you and you don't know. Because you see a Christian. You can still preach and people give their life to Christ. You can still pray and people receive healings. But God is not with you. So in as much as Paul was concerned about people, 
un bien que Paul était concerné par Jésus. He was concerned about himself. Il pensait aussi à lui-même. And he said, I don't want to do all this and God disqualifies me. Il a dit je ne veux pas faire ces choses et que je sois disqualifié par Dieu. Not disqualify him like a Christian. Pas être disqualifié comme chrétien. But disqualify him like he's not fit for his use. Mais disqualifié de telle sorte que Dieu ne le trouvera pas digne d'être utile. That is the thing that I want us to take into our hearts today. C'est ce que je voudrais que nous mettions dans nos cœurs aujourd'hui. Because the blessings of God are so powerful. Parce que la présence de Dieu est si puissante. That when they come upon you. You can be tempted to neglect God. You may be tempted to neglect God. Was it a hard money so much so that it didn't feel like to pray? Who has who has already had so much money that he didn't even feel like to pray? Let's be honest. Be honest. We have done a lot so much so that he didn't feel like to pray. Who has already had so much money that he didn't even feel like to pray? Let's be honest. Okay, many times. <laughs> and you felt it's okay. I don't need anything. That's how God blesses. His gift is so powerful. That when you start operating in your life, you can be tempted to think you don't need him anymore. That I came to you for this, God, and you've given me. What else do I want from you? Je suis venu chez toi pour quelque chose tu tu me l'as dit. So Paul brings it now to himself. Et Paul s'adresse à lui-même. He says, I want to make sure. Je veux me rassurer. That after pleasing everyone. Après d'avoir satisfait tout le monde. God is pleased with me. Que Dieu aussi soit satisfait de moi. And when I saw this, I was thinking of something I saw in Proverbs chapter sixteen verse seven. Quand j'ai vu ceci, je pense à quelque chose que j'ai vu dans le livre de Proverbs seize verset sept. He says the easiest way. Il dit la façon la plus facile to be at peace with everyone d'être en paix avec tout le monde is to be at peace with God. Et d'être en paix avec Dieu. It's like taking one stone to kill all the birds, not many birds. All the birds. C'est comme prendre une pierre pour tuer tous les oiseaux, pas seulement un seul un seul oiseau. That rather than spending our entire life trying to please every other person, au lieu de passer toute notre vie en essayant de plaire les autres. It's important that we make our lives pleasing to God. Il est important que nos vies plaisent à Dieu. And God will make even our enemies to be at peace with us. Et Dieu fera en sorte que nos ennemis soient en paix avec nous-mêmes. Why am I saying this? Pourquoi est-ce que je le dis? I told you last week that we have energy. Je vous ai dit la semaine dernière que nous avons de l'énergie. We have focus. Nous avons besoin de focaliser. But we only concentrate on the things we have desire for. Mais nous concentrons seulement sur les choses que nous désirons. It's not like we cannot forgive. It's not like we cannot give people things. It's not like we cannot be patient in life. It's not like we cannot be patient in life. It's not like we cannot serve God. 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 It's not like we cannot serve c'est la raison pour laquelle au lieu que nous demandions de l'aide à Dieu, on préfère de demander un numéro un et il refuse. On préfère de demander un numéro deux et il refuse. On demande 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 un numéro deux et il refuse. On And we don't care about having peace with him. On ne s'inquiète pas d'être en paix avec Dieu. But he says, use that word energy you have. Il demande que vous cette énergie que vous avez. To struggle to please every other person. L'énergie que vous utilisez pour plaire aux autres. To struggle to get everyone to come to your rescue. Cette énergie que vous utilisez pour que tout le monde vienne vous rescuer. Ne gaspillez pas cette énergie. Don't waste that last energy. Ne gaspillez pas cette dernière énergie. Redirect it to God. Redirige cette énergie vers Dieu. And He will make the other people, your friends and your enemies. Et il rendra ces autres personnes vos amis. You know, some people will refuse to help you. Are not actually your enemies. They are still your friends. They are your friends. Qui refusent de vous aider ne sont pas vos ennemis. Elles sont des amis. They are still family members, but they are tired. Elles sont des membres de la famille mais elles sont fatiguées. But when you are in line with God, He goes beyond your friends. Mais quand vous plaisez à Dieu, il va au-delà de vos amis. 
and touches your enemy. Il touche vos ennemis pour que vos ennemis vous aident. Paul says he will not be caught sleeping in his spiritual life. That he will not be caught napping. That he has made up his mind to take his Christianity on purpose. To serve God and look up to God for his reward. Because men can be funny. Parce que les êtres humains peuvent être étranges. Men, we are all limited. Nous les hommes sommes limités. And it's a danger to rely on people who are limited. Et c'est un danger de s'appuyer sur les gens qui sont limités. They even want to help, but they can't. Elles peuvent vouloir aider, mais elles ne peuvent pas nous aider. Isaiah 57 verse 10. Isaiah 57 verse 10. He says, even when you are tired. Dis même si vous êtes fatigué. And you have a desire for something. Your energy becomes renewed. Who can testify to that? That those things that you desire to do, you have always done them. The way I measure my strength in life, the way I measure my ability to, to support problems, it's by thinking how hard I go after the things I want. It helps me not to give excuses about my Christian life. It helps me not to give excuses about my Christian life. Because everything I have an interest for, I fight for it. Because everything I have an interest for, I fight for it. Because everything I have an interest for, I fight for it. Can you testify to that? Can you testify to that? Everything you have an interest in. You know sometimes when brother like this guy is down, he tells me that I'm wasting time. The fois quand le véhicule de du frère dit il est en panne, il me dit que je perds mon temps. Every day he's counting the money he loses. Tous les jours il compte l'argent qu'il perd. But I don't know. Mais je ne sais pas. It's not my interest. Ce n'est pas mon thé, mon intérêt. I don't have any interest in that. Je n'ai pas d'intérêt dans ça. So it's not like it's not important, but to me, it's not important. The things you have interest for, you can handle. When you find interest in God, you can support Him. You can be beaten like Paul, and you don't give up. Paul didn't have a problem of hunger. He had a problem of Physical persecution. He had a problem of persecution. Mercy beat him. He had all the battles seriously. And even when the Christians refused to support him, even when the Christians refused to accompany him, he said, "I can't give up." He says something in First Thessalonians two verse nine that touches me. He says, "Brothers and sisters, remember, I'm working day and night." He says, "Brothers and sisters, remember, I'm working day and night." He says, "Brothers and sisters, remember, I'm working day and night." So that I can support myself, I do not disturb you from hearing the gospel. Afin que je puisse prendre soin de moi. Je sais que si vous avez peur de venir à l'église parce que vous avez peur de venir à l'église, si vous avez peur de venir à l'église parce que vous avez peur de venir à l'église, si vous avez peur de venir à l'église parce que vous avez peur de venir à l'église, si vous avez peur de venir à l'église parce que vous avez peur de venir à l'église, si vous avez peur de venir à l'église parce que vous avez peur de venir à l'église, si vous avez peur de venir à l'église parce que vous avez peur de venir Si Dieu vous a béni avec un talent, you have to come to a place where you tell people. De là, il faut vous dire aux gens, this gift, ce talent, I'm ready to give you for free. Je suis prêt à te le donner gratuitement. I can support this. Tu peux prendre soin de moi. Say I can support this. Si tu peux prendre soin de moi, say I can support this. Si tu peux prendre soin de moi, man. It's a decision I took many years ago. C'est une décision que j'ai prise il y a des années. Avant de commencer à prêcher. And it's still working. Et ça fonctionne toujours pour moi. It has freed me. Cela m'a libéré. From getting angry with Lionel when he has money and doesn't give me. Il me fascine de Lionel quand il a l'argent et ne me donne pas. It has freed me. Cela m'a libéré. Amen.
from us that you were a part of the couple he took from some place. The day he to come to church. <laughs> and he would have a very peaceful relationship. If God has gifted you, you come to a place where you say, Father God, this gift you've given me is for free. I work there now. To ensure that before I leave this world, I have emptied myself. Je me suis vidé. That's your intention. C'est votre intention. We can't play with God. On peut pas jouer avec Dieu. Because he knows. Parce qu'il sait. But that's a level of majority that is so different. Mais c'est un niveau de maturité qui est Because even when that is your desire, God will leave you like that. Parce que même si c'est votre désir, Dieu ne vous laisse pas. As you please Him, He's going to make everyone. To be at peace with you, even your enemies will bless you. Yeah. When you have decided to make God your only concern, that pleasing God is all I care about. And Paul says he goes to the stadium. They had a game that you practice 10 months before you are accepted to perform in that game. 10 months. Je dis dans un stade, ce jeu, vous vous faites les répétitions. Like répétitions. before they accept you to sing on this stage, you sing for 10 months. Avant qu'on accepte que vous chantiez sur ce, you stop eating the oil. You chante pendant 10 mois. Vous arrêtez de manger. You go to the gymnasium to the place to do physical exercise. Vous faites la gym. Vous allez au gymnase faire des exercices. That was just for an Olympic game. Just for the Jews Olympic. And those people follow rules. They respected it in times. They struggled to stay healthy to win that medal. The medal we were fighting after is far above that medal. And we ought to discipline ourselves. Far beyond the way physical people discipline themselves. De là, de la manière dont les personnes physiques sont disciplinées. Because the gift God has given us. Parce que le talent que Dieu a déposé en nous. The devil is after you. Le diable suit cela. It's the reason you're suffering all the things you suffer. C'est la raison pour laquelle vous souffrez. It's the reason you cannot even have food on your table. C'est la raison pour laquelle vous n'avez pas de nourriture sur la table. Because the devil. Parce que le diable doesn't want you to go. Ne fais pas. The Paul says, run to win. Mais Paul dit, courez pour gagner. You can run to win. Vous pouvez courir pour gagner. In your Christian life, you can run to win. Dans votre vie chrétienne, vous pouvez courir pour gagner. You can run faster than your political problems in your nation. Vous pouvez courir plus vite que les problèmes politiques de votre nation. You can run faster than the curses in the family you come. Vous pouvez courir plus vite que les malédictions de la famille dans laquelle vous venez. You can run faster. Vous pouvez courir plus vite. You have to make your Christian life a determination to succeed. Vous devez rendre votre vie chrétienne une détermination pour le succès. The Father, I'm running to win. Père, je cours pour gagner. I can forgive. Je peux pardonner. Because God's interest is there, and God's interest is my interest. Parce que l'intérêt de Dieu s'y trouve, et l'intérêt de Dieu est mon intérêt. You know, they told me a story of a person in the U.S. who wants to divorce his wife, but because they refused to forgive each other, they were ready to lose probably six hundred thousand dollars to the banks because they have refused to come to a compromise. On m'a parlé de l'histoire des personnes qui sont des États-Unis. Because the man wants to hurt the woman, the woman wants to hurt the man. Le mari veut pas se pardonner. Il ne veut pas se pardonner. Donc pour cela, ils sont prêts à perdre plus de 600 000 dollars. Ils disent, ben, you share the money, you take 150 000, and you take 150. Ils disent, ben, no, you'll be happy if he has 150. Then all of us have not. Il a dit, c'est mieux que nous tous, on est rien. 
But when you think of God's interest, quand vous parlez, vous pensez à l'intérêt de Dieu. When you love him, you obey his commandments. Quand vous l'aimez, vous obéissez à ses commandements. When you see his forgive, you don't begin to ask questions. Quand il demande de pardonner, vous ne commencez pas à poser des questions. Find God's interest in everything. Trouvez l'intérêt de Dieu en toutes choses. And you find your interest in it, and your desire will become a wicked. Et vous trouverez dans ces choses et vos désirs vont se réveiller pour servir Dieu. Vous êtes jeune, vous êtes brillant, vous êtes powerful. Vous ne pouvez pas imaginer ce que Dieu peut faire avec votre vie. Et il ne respecte pas la personne. Il ne respecte pas qui vous êtes. Il fait ce qu'il a fait. Il est fort. He can use any one of us for some things we cannot even believe. You don't need one year of fasting. You just need to have an open-minded God. I want to serve you on purpose. I'm not looking onto any man to serve you. Because it is you who gave me this gift. It is you who can take it to the whole world. C'est toi qui peux amener ce talent dans le monde entier. I want to serve you. Je veux te servir, Dieu. I want to serve. Je veux te servir. Set my life on fire for you. Set my life on fire for you. Que ton feu brûle dans ma vie pour moi. Not on fire for myself. Pas un feu pour moi. Set it for you, God. Que ma vie soit en feu pour toi. Make me to burn for you. Que je prie pour toi. Give me that desire for you like a young child that goes after breast milk. Donne-moi ce désir pour toi comme un bébé qui court vers le lait maternel. Let me forget about every human payment when I think of working for you. Que je dis le paiement des êtres humains. And God will reach you from areas you would never ever imagine. Et Dieu vous enverra dans les domaines où vous n'allez même pas imaginer. I'm praying for you. Je prie pour vous de tout mon cœur. Et quand je regarde les talents que Dieu a bénis beaucoup d'entre nous, quand je regarde les talents avec lesquels Dieu a béni chacun d'entre nous, I'm filled with joy and I'm filled with tears. Je suis rempli de joie et de larmes. Because God's gift attracts a lot of problems. Parce que les talents de Dieu attirent tellement de problèmes. But I pray that those problems only make you strong. Je prie que ces problèmes vous rendent plus forts. I pray that those disappointments only make you stronger. Je prie que ces déceptions vous rendent plutôt forts. Not make you weak. Et ne vous rendent pas faible. Not make you lazy or nabi. Et ne vous rendent pas paresseux. They should only make you become strong. Que cela vous rende plus fort. That's my prayer for you. C'est ma prière pour vous. That you get stronger in the Lord. Vous fortifiez en l'Éternel. The Christian path is not for the weak. La voie du chrétien n'est pas pour le faire. Vous y entrez libre. Vous avez besoin de la diligence pour réussir. Je veux prier à Dieu ce soir. Je voudrais que vous fassiez cette prière. Aide-moi, Seigneur, à rester en feu pour toi. Aide-moi à rester focalisé en te servant. Aide-moi à me servir et obéir. Aide-moi à m'humilier et à t'obéir. Je ne veux pas que tu me disqualifies. Je ne veux pas être disqualifié pour ton utilité. Je ne veux pas être disqualifié pour ton utilité.
in the blood of God was able to separate his Christian life from other parts of his life. He was able to understand that he want to support the gospel. That's the majority I want us to get. He was able to separate his Christian life. He made his Christian life a life of service to God. He was so sure about it. It was an area of his life that he was not thinking. My Christian life is my service to God. I want you to make that promise to yourself. That my Christian life is my service to God. And when you make that decision, God will open your eyes to opportunities in life that you will not imagine. So you say, Father, I want to work and support your gospel. God will open strings of income in your life that you will not imagine. Don't let the devil imagine. Close your eyes, close your brain, close your attention to one thing. Open your mind. Let God use you. Let God use you. Why are you going to pray for everyone in this house? For Father, we desire to serve you. But we know the devil is after our services to you. Father, I pray for everything that is stopping every one of us from giving the best of ourselves to you. Every distraction of the devil that is holding us down from obeying your word. Father, I pray you deliver us from that today, your God. Father, anything that is stopping us from giving us the best to you, every knowledge that is holding us down from serving you from our hearts, Father God, I pray you deliver us this day. That we shall make our lives, lives of service to you. Not lives of status. That we shall work for you. As an independent part of our lives. As a part of gratitude. For who you have made us to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. We call this Jesus. I want to take our offerings.